Check out this neck. You see it, right? This is maple syrup infused in the neck. It's magic. Totally making that up. Not real. Is it too bad that Fender stopped making these? And uh, did they stop making these? We'll find out. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing really well. I hope you're doing well. If not, sorry to hear about that. Hopefully I can make you laugh or smile at least once during this video. Twice. Okay, this is a brand new Fender American Original 50s Telecaster in Butterscotch Blonde. I bought it online from a store called Cosmo Music in Canada. And it was a really great shopping experience. I was able to ask them what the weight was before buying it. And that was my main concern because they don't show the weights in the, in the online stuff. Anyways, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure these have been replaced by the new Vintage 2 model. And essentially it's the same guitar with a couple of slight spec differences and a really big price difference. In Canada, this was around $600 less for taxes for essentially the same guitar. <laughs> So that's one of the reasons I went for this one. And it was on my list for years. It fell off my list for a while. It wasn't, they weren't making them for a while, I think. I waited like a year for one. So I was waiting, watching, waiting, ready to pounce. And then I purged about four guitars to buy this one. So in this case, less is more. Right in that case, the velvet, crushed velvet, beautiful. Let's go over the specs and get into some playing. I'll let you know everything about it. We're gonna do a deep dive. This is uh, one of these deep dive videos. The insides, the measurements, shut up, go, let's do it. Here's what you get. We're going to read it together on screen. Um, let me bring it up here. I quickly went through this list. Essentially, everything is identical. Even the commodity code, I don't even know what that stands for. The biggest difference I noticed was the neck shape is a 1952 neck shape on the one I have. And the newer one is a 1951 U shape. And what's the other thing? The name of the pickups. I think that was it. So that's really it. Yeah, there are, everything else is exactly the same. If I missed anything, let me know. Sometimes I miss one thing sometimes. Uh, yeah, they look the same. Oh, no, sorry. The, <laughs> the radius. I totally forgot. The radius is 7.25 on the new one. And this one is nine and a half. How did I not? So it's the neck, right? The neck is the big difference. And I can only assume that maybe the 1951 neck is a different size, maybe? I have no idea. I'm guessing the neck is gonna feel different just because they probably changed something, right? The radius, maybe the radius makes it feel different. That's all, I can only assume. You let me know if you've tried both in the comments. Not if you've tried both in the comments. If you've tried both, comma, in the comments, let me know. All right, let's go get some measurements. Okay, just like you said, let's get the weight. And uh, I knew what the weight was going to be when I before I ordered it, and that was part of the, uh, the deal. Seven pounds, fifteen ounces, which is three point six kilos. So under eight pounds, awesome, especially for uh, one of these because I like guitars that weigh that much. <laughs> I don't like heavy guitars. The pickup resistance six point nine three in the neck, three point three nine for the neck and middle combined, and then the bridge six point four four. There is your numbers. Let's move on. Let's take the strings off and then measure the neck because this is the biggest, probably the biggest uh, polarizing thing with this kind of guitar, the thick, big, thick neck. So you're seeing all the measurements, the width, and then I'll do the thickness in a second here. First fret. If you're having trouble seeing anything, just pause it, rewind it. It gets thicker going along towards the bottom, right? And uh, body thickness as well. Pretty standard. So cool. Big, fat, thick neck. It's nice. Now, slotted um, screws, right? First time I've ever used those. The, that's the first time I've said that. First time I've ever had these kind of screws on a Telecaster. So these must be the original kind of screws, I'm going to guess. Here's inside the pickup cavity. 
And I can see the layers of ash. Nice, very nice ash in here. Uh, yeah, here's the electronics. Got the old, old timey uh, wiring in here, see? Yeah, inside there, put it back together, take off the pick guard. I like that there's only five screws. If I had a choice, I'd say like, screw it and uh, only have five screws, please. And then I was taking it off, admit, if is, if, if is this simple or what? Look how simple this is. Tiny little routes, like, look at that. They made it as simple as possible. The old Fender knew what he was doing. Just made it simple. He kept it simple, stupid. So, there we go. That's the inside. Nice pattern on the wood. Nice wood. Put the screws back in. Super close up, just so you know what it looks like when you put a screw in that close. I don't know. And then, uh, putting the, uh, the strings back on. This is why I love vintage style tuners. With a little hole in the top, because you can just pop them back in, tighten it, and you're done. I prefer them even over locking tuners. So let's go uh, go ahead and hear some stuff. Okay, all tones are going to be captured on this Princeton reverb amplifier. And I'm using a Sennheiser E906 microphone. It's all real. It's all captured. I'm going to do something different in this video. Never done this before. Usually I record a bunch of guitar, and then I chop it up, edit it, and take out parts that I think are the best. You know what? It's going to be fully raw. You're going to see the whole thing. So take a look in the timestamps. It's going to be a long session of guitar playing. This is just me when I turned on the camera and what I did. So if you enjoy that, let me know. If you don't, you got the timestamps. You know when to skip ahead and you can move around. That's uh, the beauty of timestamps. It's a mix of some okay stuff and some really rough stuff. So I hope you enjoy the candidness.
The American original 50s Telecaster. Hey, let's talk pros and cons. Here's my pros. I made some notes. Pros. It's beautiful. Great fit and finish. Huge neck. Not as expensive as the Vintage 2 model. This one has a great weight, and you saw it. And the tones are to die for. I don't even know what that means. I wrote it, though. Uh, cons. It's expensive. It has a thick neck. Maybe you don't like that. So that could be a con. And that's it. Honestly, that's it. There you go. American Original 50s Telecaster from Fender. And uh, if you want to get one, you might have to search around. I have a Reverb affiliate link if, uh, that you can use if you want. Otherwise, you're probably looking at getting the American Vintage 2. If that's what you want, right? You want the Butterscotch Classic Style Fender. That's what you're going to have to go for. So let me know your thoughts on these guitars. American Original Series versus the new Vintage 2 stuff. What do you like better? What do you like worse? Is it all good? Is it all bad? I was really surprised they're all made of basswood. I was really surprised. Is that true? They're not made of basswood. That's wrong? Okay, good. Ah!